I honestly just love, just love the fact that we have our own island. Oh, look at the couple. I forgot that they're here and they're just like, oh, look at them. They're so cute together. Um... Right. Hey there, fellow gamers. Kevin J Gaming here, giving you some more Skies of Arcadia Legends. In the last part, we, um... What did we do? Oh, we came back from the Lands of Ice, and then we learned that we were going to go to uh, Valua. Uh, to go looking for the Yellow Moon Crystal. But we're not going to do that just yet, because if you're right here, you can find... Will let me... There it is. A Cham! So we're going to give that Cham to Fina right now. Or rather to Cupel. And Shazam, still the spear, because it just evolved last episode, actually, I believe. Or very close. No, it was a couple episodes ago, because it was in the Lands of Ice that it happened. But anyway, in this episode, before we go to Valua, um, which we probably won't do in this episode, we are going to go around and uh, collect some things that we've been meaning to collect. It's uh, been a little while since I've done a lot of this stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's just head back to the ship and we're gonna go um, exploring because now that we have uh, a new uh, ship ability, as I guess I could call it, that now that we've implemented that book of polarity that we got from Yafutoma, uh, we can do that. Anyway, we're coming down the pole, which is so much fun. And Brabham's right there. Does Brabham offer you anything? You can fly in the dumpness above and below the clouds. We can fly all over the damn place. I can't wait. Yes. Yes, we can, and I cannot wait either. Because there's a very interesting thing about being able to fly above and below the clouds. Um, first, we're going to get into our ship here. Alright, so now if you look on the right side, or the left side, sorry, of the screen, you see a little, a little thing that's moving up and down there, as you can see. Um, before it was only the white area, but now that it's the blue area, we can actually go way above the clouds. And this is freaking awesome because right above us, there's this weird looking thing. And it turns out, if we can get close enough to it, it's the Rainbow Island! What lies at the end of the rainbow? It's a question everyone asks when they are young, but as they grow older, it is often forgotten. Perhaps only the few who remember can find the legendary island at the end of the rainbow. So yeah, we find an island at the end of the rainbow. And you can't go there or anything. If you click on it again, you just get to see it again. It's a beautiful looking island. I mean, from here, it looks really cool. Anyway, and if you come over here towards Maramba, there is this thing, which is the Iron Star. A strange object said to be launched by the ancient civilization of the Red Moon. Its purpose has been long forgotten, but legends say that its eye could see the entire world. Even now, sailors navigate by its rhythmic flashing light. If you notice, it actually kind of looks a little bit like um, Recumen, uh, if you remember. Um, oh, it's above Nazrad, not above Maramba. But anyway, we are going to head towards... Uh, uh, Maramba, actually. That's Nazrad, the island we just saw. We're gonna head towards Maramba, which is the other Nazradian uh, city. It's due west of here, so we're just gonna head straight west from here. But as you may have noticed, there are no random encounters. I have not run into a single random encounter while flying above the clouds like this, and the reason is, uh, there essentially is no random encounters when you're above or below the clouds. So expect me to be flying like this a lot because there's just I don't have to worry about anything. We can now get all over the world and not even have to deal with uh, random encounters. Anyway, so here's Maramba. We're coming here for a couple of reasons. Um, first off, we are going to head... Um, well, actually, first we're going to head to here. This would be a good, this would be a good idea. We're going to start cutting around and jumping around this episode, but first we're going to come to the Sailor's Guild. Hmm, you know what? You look an awfully lot like one of those pirates on the wanted list. What are we talking about? So we're going to sell some discovery info first, as always, because it's a good way to make a lot of money. The Aurora, the world is round, is worth a lot of money. Uh, Rainbow Island's worth a lot. Iron Star's worth a lot. And the Tricyclone's worth a lot. So we found all of those. Hooray. But now we're going to check out this wanted list. As you can see, it's actually completely full now. There's nothing else that can come on here. We've beaten 
uh, Baltor, the Black Pirate. That was story. We haven't beaten Rupee of the Larso clan yet. Uh, Gord of the Round, we beat him. He was story. Loose Cannon Lapin or Lapin, I don't know. Well, I'm not going to read any of these, but basically um, these are all things that we could fight. But as you can see here, there's one called Vice the Fallen Pirate. Uh, he's a pirate who thinks he can hide behind his name. Once thought to be a hero, the once blue rogue Vice has been reported to be robbing the people of Nazrad. Along with his two female accomplices, perhaps Vice is nothing but a lowly scumbag of a black pirate after all. So, there's a whole bunch there to to search and look at. And we're only going to fight the Vice one, but not in this episode. Because, in fact, I uh, believe right over here. Yeah. That guy right there. That's the fight with Rupee and the Larso clan. And we're not going to do that. Or Rupee of the Larso clan. We're not going to do that yet. Doing all the bounty fights takes a little while. It will eat up a lot of time to go through all of them. But there is a reason why we're going to do Vice the, the Fallen Pirate at the time that we're going to do it. But uh, anyway, so while we're here, we're going to go into, I believe it's this. Oh, that's the weapon shop. We want to go into this one then? One of these buildings is the one we want to go to. If we, yep, this is the one. Talk to this person. She says, you are a sailor, are you not? I could tell by your smell. <laughs> you sailors are nothing but trouble. Like, that's not even an old lady voice. I'm not even trying. I had a dollar, but she fell in love with a sailor who drifted into town one day. The next thing I knew, she ran off with this good-for-nothing sailor and left me here to run the shop by myself. I have not heard of her since. <laughs> She's probably lying dead in a gutter somewhere by now. So that's an important thing. I'm not sure if that actually starts the side quest, but there was another reason why we came to Maramba anyway. And talking to her pretty much gives us the subtext that um, some sailor ran off with that girl's daughter. And uh, we're going to go off to find that. Oh, I have to talk to you to do this. Uh, sure, I'll take a, a Dabu. Anyway, so we're going to take the Dabu over to the other part of Maramba. Because Maramba's like this, and they make you... They just make you do this. Uh, okay, we made it. Okay. There's somebody here that we've actually never really taken the time to talk to, and I really should have showed it off a little bit earlier, but it doesn't really matter. I never used it, and I don't think you need it in this heavily story-driven game. We're going to come into here. And there's this, this weird-looking person. Hmm. Welcome. Hmm. You. I've seen your face in my dreams. It was a dream in which someone was holding a spear and braid back into the end of the sky. Perhaps it was nothing. Do you wish to know of your fate? Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. Um. I'm gonna be right back, because we gotta get that spear and blade, and I know where to get it. It. It's... I believe it's the sword that we were supposed to buy, or could buy in Yafutoma, but we found a better sword since, so now we gotta... Yeah, I guess what does Vice have equipped? He has the Dream Cutlass. Well, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna head all the way over to Yafutoma, and we're, then we're gonna have to come back here. I screwed up big time. That was my bad. I forgot that you needed the Sweeran Blade. So we run up here. And the weapon shop's right here. If you remember, we, we came here once before, but I don't think we had a lot of money at the time. Uh, but now we have a fair bit from all the fighting we've been doing. He bows to us. He's a quite uh, quite the gentleman, I'd say. Anyway, if he has a spear and blade, and he does, you're going to buy it. It's actually better than the sword we have. We just should have had it a while ago. <laughs> uh, the in wing. Yeah, none of this is as good as the other things. Uh, increases defense. It'd be good for Enrique, so I'll buy this for Enrique. And then, so Ranchu, the long robe, the unseen hand. I don't know what the difference between magic and whatever is. So yeah, we'll just sell off these other things. Moonlight robe, long robe, Thrillax scale, and this alloy deck. I guess. I think I got a better one since. Anyway, so now we have that. We're going to go all the way back to Maramba, and we're going to go talk to that lady. Uh, we're going to go talk to... Actually, you'll see where I go. We're going to go close to Maramba on our way back. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be heading back on our way to Maramba. We might as well continue 
what we were doing with uh, with that Cabal Skewer lady while we're out. Because basically we have to go somewhere else with her. She's the she's the runaround side quest. Anyway, I'll see you in a moment as I fade here. Get, get out of the thing! Okay, there you go. There you go. And we're really close to Esperanza. What is that in the sky? I don't know if I can catch up with it. Oh, but I'm going to try. Oh, what is this? What is this? Is this a battle or is this a discovery? I want to say it's a discovery. I'm pretty sure it's a discovery. I think we're sailing faster than it. Yeah, we are. We're catching up for sure. Uh, you have found the sky train. While a rail car, while the while a rail car of a similar nature currently exists in Valua, this flying train is believed to have once carried passengers between the lands of the red, green, and purple moons. Purple moons. Although the no more passengers board, the sky train carries on. Why would nobody ride it anymore? And why would anyone want to go to the blue moon? The blue moon's all ice. Anyways, we're gonna head. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, but luckily, we're actually pretty close to where we wanted to go. If I'm looking at my map here, yeah. Esperanza's right here. And we're coming to Esperanza because, well, you'll see in a brief moment when it lets me in. Let 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 me in. I'm right here. There it is. Okay. <laughs> I do like the music that plays here as well. The music here is quite nice. We're gonna head up and up and in once we get up into Esperanza. Basically, that Cabal Skewer lady, if you remember, she was talking about her her daughter who left her for some good-for-nothing uh, sailor. She's actually um, she's actually here. She's actually here in Esperanza, the friggin' ghost town. So I'm gonna come here, and you're gonna wanna talk to... I heard you guys made it through the Dark Rift, and knew you'd be able to do it. I have confidence in your abilities, so I have a favor to ask you. I would like to listen to my story first. Many years ago, I eloped and came here with a sailor that I had fallen in love with. Interesting. That was what I was just talking about. But he found another woman and ran off with her. I can't believe how foolish I was to trust him. But I've accepted my fate. It's not myself that I'm worried about. It's my mother. I left her behind in Maramba. If you ever have a chance to stop by Maramba, could you visit the Cabal Skewer's shop? I want her to forgive her foolish daughter, and I want her to know that not a day has passed that I haven't thought of her. So that's a bit of a sad story. And then, speaking of sad stories... <laughs> the vice is you. You actually made it through the Dark Rift. Yep, I saw everything that was beyond it, too. You really know how to rub it in, don't you? You know how much I wanted to see what was on the other side? Don, it's still not too late. Why don't you come with us? We can sail together. <laughs> well, there isn't much I can do any more than sail, and I sure haven't done that in a while, either. But if it's a sailor you want, it's a sailor you'll get. Let's go, Captain! That was my attempt at a drunk voice. And he leans back. I don't know, I was just bad. Don joins our party as a helmsman. I believe Lawrence is better, but I'm going to take a quick look at, a, at our crew here. Let's see. Lawrence will increase your ship's quick. Uh, Don increases our ship's dodge, which I think is actually better. So you know what? We are going to go with Don here. And as you can see, we're only missing uh, three people. That's it. So we're going to get through that. Um, hopefully, not this episode. If it's a two-parter, it's a two-parter. That's fine. But uh, yeah, we got we to gotta get through a lot of stuff. Anyway, so I'll see you guys back in Maramba, where we're going to talk to that Paul Skewer lady again. And we're going to um, talk to that girl who wanted us to have the Swearin' Blade again. Okay, so we're back in Maramba. We're going to go talk to the Cabal Skewer lady again. She's right here. And she says, I remember you. You were that sailor that came here a little while ago. What, what is your wish? What? My, my daughter, she's still alive? Well, good for her. Not that it means anything anymore. She does not expect me to forgive her and take her back now, does she? Hmm, she's a stupid girl. She is my daughter no more. Leave my shop. 
So yeah, basically they want us to keep running back and forth. We'll continue that side quest a little bit later. Uh, it does lead to a very useful prize. Uh, it's just uh, it's a pain to get. Um, oh yeah, I have to, I have to keep forgetting I have to talk to this guy. But yeah, so that's how you do that. So that's what that whole side quest is, is just us flying back and forth between Maramba and Esperanza. And the best time to do it is right now uh, between, you know, both things. Uh, just because it's, uh, well, sorry. The best time to do it is when you're able to fly above the clouds because that way you don't get into any random encounters and it's, it's pretty quick. But uh, it does make you run off at one point, and that's going to take a little while as well. Anyway, so we're going to talk to this person again. Welcome. Hmm, you have a face in my dreams. It was a dream in which someone holding a swearing blade beckons into, my, into the sky. A swearing blade? I've got one right here. What? Then perhaps it was you who came in my dreams. It appears that the red moon has decided my fate. I cannot go against the will of the moon. I am henceforth at your service. I am Khalifa, seer of the Red Moon. I am the most renowned fortune teller in all of Nazareth. There is no future that I cannot see. Hooray! Khalifa has joined us as a merchant, very similar to uh, Osman. Osman's a bit different, though. Uh, Osman actually sells stuff, and Khalifa is a fortune teller. You can actually use her, and she'll tell you where you're supposed to go if you get lost. Um, not like you really need it. i got to look up what she actually does when... She's in your party. Okay, we're missing three from here. I, I didn't notice that there was a jester that we were missing. I know who the jester is. And I know what the last... I know what it all is. Anyway. So, Osman increases our chance of finding expensive items. Khalifa has a chance of finding special items. Special items is way better because that includes mood berries. And mood berries are the best freaking thing ever. I don't... I don't even care. It, getting moon boon berries is very important, so we're going to get a lot of those, hopefully by having Khalifa with us. Because you can get moon berries from random encounters. They're just very rare. So luckily for us, now that we have this, the few random encounters that we are going to get into, the moon berry is really going to help. Anyway, so it's a tough decision what I want to do now. Because I could, I could continue the Cabal Skewer thing but I do I did want to get other stuff done this episode but I've been recording for a decent while already and I don't know how much time we've cut out I mean flying to Yafutoma probably took a while I don't know I'll go for a little bit longer um yeah we'll go back to Esperanza real quick I think and then we'll come back here I'm being very indecisive. I don't know what I want to do. Let's go Let's go off somewhere, and then we'll check in on Esperanza next episode, I think. Anyway. So we're going to fly up, and where we're going to go now, since we're not going back to Esperanza, we are going to go um, to a little bit north of Valua. So we're going to head northwest-ish. Is the direction we're gonna head. And you can tell we're in Valua because the sky is gonna get completely dark underneath us. And it's very ominous, I must say. Um, I, I also want to find a discovery while I'm here. So, where is the city of Valua exactly? Now, although we can't revisit the Valuan capital, um, it is here. Which is very interesting to me. If you remember, we've escaped from here many times. I want to see when I'm flying over it. That's when I'll go down. Uh, man, this place is so ominous, and I'm glad I don't have to actually look at it. There's like lightning storms, and this place is scary, but it's okay. I believe if you come down right here, yep, the blue and capital. You can actually not land in here. As weird as it is, you can't land here. I mean, it would. They are kind of the, the enemy. So, we are actually here in the Valuan capital. It's really cool. I mean, there's the Grand Fortress right there. You know, it looks a lot bigger when you're not, um, in the sky. It seems, but yeah. So I figured I'd just show that off. Anyway, but I've, we're looking, 
we're going to fly a little bit southwest of the Valuan capital, is I believe what it says. A little bit southwest. We're going to hit Central Sky again, which is this level. And it's really... Oh, no. We're in a hole. We've left Valua. But, hmm. It said southwest. I'm, I'm following a guide here for most of this stuff because it's... It's really weird. Um, hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Give me a moment. I'll probably cut around to when I find it. Oh, apparently we didn't find this one. This is Mirage Island. This wasn't even what I was looking for. But lately, sailors have been reporting sightings of sailors I of a sailors isle floating around mid ocean. They tried to get close to the island, but to no avail. Theory has it that light. Theory has it that light reflected off sailors island is creating a mirage of sorts. That's interesting. That wasn't even what I was looking for. So we're just gonna keep looking. We can do another cut now. No. Ah, we found it. Oh my god. Oh man, that was so hard to find. This is the ancient palace. It's a beautiful old castle that stands near a lake in central Valua. Local legends of evil wizards and mysterious disappearances were received when various potions and torture devices were discovered in the dungeons beneath the castle. Oh my god, we found it. Here's, here's where it is. I'm gonna back up and you're gonna get a better view of it. Oh my god. Okay, so there it is. Oh, there's a friggin' Valuan airship that wants to fight me. It's right there. I'm gonna show you on the map where I am right now. It's right here. It's right here. And, like, there's the Mob Tardis, there's the Grand Fortress, there's the Valuan capital. You can actually find this as the Little Jack. I didn't get it earlier, I know. But, with that... Oh my god. I'm going to end this episode here. Because I've been recording for a while. So next time, on Skies of Arcadia Legends, we are going to do more housekeeping stuff, as I like to refer to it as. Just more cleanup stuff, more collecting items and talking to people and whatever. Crewmates, what have you. I will see you all next time. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.